Rumor has it spray lubricant and even toothpaste can take your car's headlight lenses from crusty to clear in no time flat. But are these items effective on lamp housings or are they best left in your toolbox or on your bathroom vanity? Well, I'm putting them to the test so you don't have to. There is no excuse for driving around with hazy old headlights. None whatsoever. It's dangerous for you and others, so don't do it. The good news is you can easily fix this problem by using a restoration kit. They're not expensive, difficult to find, or hard to use. In fact, we have a whole separate video where I put six of these kits to the test to find out which ones are worth buying and which ones you should avoid. Anyway, after doing all that, I'm intrigued to see if these common household items are any good on headlights. And since you probably already have them lying around, they're a nearly free solution. I mean, come on, you'd better have toothpaste. If not, oh boy. Okay, I'm starting this little experiment with the spray lube. I think toothpaste might actually do something, but I have little faith in this because if it worked for this application, the manufacturer would call it out. Plus, it's pretty much just lubricant, so what's it actually going to do? Anyway, let's just get it out of the way. So here I have a popular brand of spray oil, but similar products should work too, or well, maybe not at all, because that's what we're trying to find out. Basically, what I'm going to do here is what you would do with a restoration kit. Spray the product on the lens housing, rub it around for a while, and then wipe it off. I'll also try it with a drill and a polishing pad to see if that makes any difference, and I grabbed a small piece of fine steel wool just for the hell of it. So, let's get started. Put a little product on there and start wiping. It's getting a little dirt off the lens, but I have my doubts that this is actually going to fix that chalkiness, but we'll see. Just a little bit more. So the lens is certainly cleaner than it was before, and it's a lot shinier and oilier too, but it doesn't look like this product did anything to correct that haziness. Once I'm done with the other steps, I'll wash the whole lens off and let it dry, and then we'll really be able to see if this did anything. Okay, next up I'm going to use the drill with the polishing pad. I'm going to do it on this section of the lens. As you can see, I have four different sections. One for just the spray lube, one for the drill, one for steel wool, and then one that's just left as it was originally, so we'll be able to see how things progress. So anyway, onward with the drill. Move that around a little. And we'll hit it. Just going to wipe it off now and see if there's any immediately obvious difference. It's cleaning the uh, grid off the surface a little bit, but it still looks a little bit hazy. I don't know. All right, last but not least, a little bit of steel wool. This may hellaciously scratch the lens up, so don't try this on your own car, but we're going to see what it does. All right, I've given that a good rub down. I'm just going to wipe it off here with a clean chunk of paper towel and we'll see if it made any difference. So now that I've done those three tests, visually just glancing at the headlight assembly, I can't really tell that anything has changed. I'm going to wash this off really quickly with some soap and water and then let it dry and we'll see if there's actually any change. Okay, so this assembly has been washed and it's dry right now and we can look at our results. This is the quadrant I used just the spray lube on and as you can see, it's still pretty hazy, barely any different from the way it was originally on this end. Next up is the drill. It actually appears 
with that spinning polishing pad to have cut through a bit of the haziness. I'm a little surprised. I don't know how long it will stay like that on your car once it's exposed to the elements and of course UV rays from the sun, but not too shabby there. And then finally there's the steel wool here and as you can see it actually looks worse than the untouched section of the headlight assembly here. So a lot of little scratches in there. My recommendation of course don't take steel wool to your car's headlights. Not a good idea. Next up, toothpaste. The idea here is the grittiness will polish away oxidation and haze on the headlight lens, just like with a restoration kit. That's the theory at least, but let's see if it's true. So once again, I've divided this lens housing into three different sections. I'll try the toothpaste by hand right over here. And for the hell of it, I'll run some toothpaste with the drill and a polishing pad on this section just to see if it does anything. In the middle, of course, is the untouched section of the lens so we can directly compare them to what the toothpaste did. So I'm gonna jump right in, grab a chunk of paper towel here, squeeze a little bit of toothpaste on here and just start rubbing. Minty fresh. If nothing else, this headlight won't get any cavities. As you can see, there's a bit of discoloration coming off on the paper towel here, which seems to indicate that the toothpaste is cutting through some of that nastiness on the headlight lensing. I went ahead and grabbed a tube of toothpaste with baking soda in it, so I think it's a little bit grittier than some other brands of toothpaste out there, so that may be a factor here as well. Put a little more on there, because why not? A soupy, disgusting mess. And that's probably enough rubbing. I'm gonna wipe the lens off and see if this toothpaste did anything. Okay, with that out of the way, it does look like the lens housing is a little bit clearer, but I'm afraid it may be a similar effect like with the spray oil, that it's sort of filling in all of that chalkiness, making the lens housing look shinier, but once I wash this off with soap and water, it'll be just as gritty as before. I'm cautiously optimistic, but we'll have to see once I wash it. But before I wash anything, let's try the drill again, just for the hell of it. I mean, power tools are always fun to use, right? So, just smear some toothpaste on here. It's a lot of toothpaste. <laughs> and then I'll kind of just schmutz that around a little bit so it doesn't go flying everywhere. And we'll hit it with the drill. And it still goes flying everywhere. Maybe that's a bit too much toothpaste. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna wipe most of the toothpaste off just so it doesn't go flying and we'll try it with the drill again. There we go, that's a better amount. All right, let's see if that did anything. Certainly turned the toothpaste brown, so that's got to count for something, I would think. No significant difference that I can see right here, but again, I got to wash everything off. All righty, it's all cleaned up, and as you should be able to see on the camera there, not a big difference. This is the side that I rubbed by hand with the toothpaste and there is barely any difference between this and the untreated portion of the headlight lens. Over here is where I used the drill. It's maybe slightly clearer than original, but man, the difference is negligible at best. So overall, I would say toothpaste is a bust on headlight assemblies. Well, that's disappointing, but not at all surprising. Spray oil and toothpaste are not particularly effective on headlights. I mean, the WD-40 did a little bit here with the drill, but 
it's still not as clear as it should be. Plus, even if these products were effective on headlights, they don't have any sealer that will protect against UV rays like proper restoration kits do, so your headlights are probably just gonna get nasty again pretty quickly. I know it's tempting to try these items since you probably have them lying around. I mean, they're basically free, but my recommendation is this. Save time and hassle by getting a proper headlight restoration kit. They're simple, anyone can figure out how to use them, and the most expensive one I tested in that other video was only about $32, so it's not like they're prohibitively expensive. Now, as I mentioned before, we've got links in the description box below where you can learn more about headlight restoration kits. Oh, and make sure to check out that other video. As for toothpaste and spray lube, I say keep this stuff away from your car. Oh, oh except perhaps for the WD-40. It's handy for loosening dirt and grease, lubricating squeaky door latches, or about a million other things.